You return now to our story from earlier in the program about the rates bill for Auckland's churches. Churches in New Zealand are rates exempt by law. Any building used primarily for religious purposes is. But an Auckland Council review of rates exempt properties has resulted in some churches being slapped with rates rises of up to 7,000%. In one case from $400 to $28,000 per annum. $400 to $28,000. So now the political arm of the council has asked the operational arm of the council for a please explain and told churches that they don't have to pay the first installment of their new bill due on Friday until the Mayor and Councillors debate the change. You are debating the change in your texts, by golly. Uh, fiercely for and against. Zach Fleming spoke to Auckland Council's Head of Rates, Debbie Acott, and asked her how the new rates are being calculated. So in the first instance, we sent out like a questionnaire and the churches were to come back to us and let us know what portions of the property were used for what purpose and if there were any discrepancies that we couldn't identify from that desktop um, exercise. Uh, one of our valuers went out to go and check what portions were used for what purpose. Okay. And did a valuer visit most of these properties? I actually don't know how many they physically visited, but I could find out. Um, on the one of the uh, documents that you sent out churches with those letters, um, it says here that areas with other uses should be fully rated, where there is a mix of rateable and non-rateable use, ancillary areas, for example, storerooms, will it be assessed in the way the use relates to the rateable and non-rateable land. So are we nitpicking right down to like the, the storeroom closet in terms of whether the council can rate the land that churches use or not rate it? Is that how nitpicky we're being? Well, it just has to be apportioned off correctly, so we'll send somebody out to look or ask for the information and we'll rate accordingly. For some churches, obviously, they have seen an increase in their rates because very small pockets of their land have been identified as not being principally used for religious activities, right? And so if we can talk about St Matthew's now, St Matthew's there has been, their rates have increased because of their offices and that's solely their offices, is that correct? I think so, I think it was solely their offices. Okay. St Matthews would argue that their offices are used for the running of the church. So they do administration, hold meetings, and all of that facilitates the running of the church. So technically it is used for religious purposes, but now it's being deemed to be rateable? So we've had legal advice on what constitutes the rateable and non-rateable portions, and we are going with what our legal advisors have told us. Um, so they the portion used for religious purposes, religious worship, is considered the portion just used solely for worship. Your legal advice, is this internally or externally from within council, has said that... We have had both internal and external legal advice on this. Right, so you've extensively sought out whether you can. Have you thought about whether you should? We just have to comply with legislation. So I don't think there's been any case law on this so far, but um, as far, this is um, the advice that we've received. And what about uh, engaging with the political side of council, so councillors and the mayor? Did you do that at any point? So this was initially um, kicked off um, at the end of, um, at the beginning of 2016, sorry. And we've been reporting to the Finance and Performance Committee every quarter. Um, also, we sent um, all the councillors a memo when we were issuing correspondence to the churches so that they knew about it. So councillors aren't reading the memos? <laughs> well, we didn't get anything back to tell us not to go ahead and do it. So, Did you ever have any contact from the Mayor about this? We had discussions at Finance and Performance Committee at which the Mayor was in attendance. But yeah. Did he ever comment on it? Um, not directly to me, no. In six months' time, yeah. after a decision has been made, if the decision is to not enact any new policy, so these rates are as they currently are, yeah. you just told me that you don't want any churches to close. What could you do for a church that is facing having to close? Well, as we do for any rate who's struggling to pay their rates, we can look at options for them. Um, so we, we encourage, we always encourage people to call us and talk to us if they're having trouble paying. And what are those options? We've got, um, well, as I was talking about, we've got postponement. We've got the ability to um, spread the payments out to as often as weekly, which can make a big difference to, to some organisations. But at the end of the day, those rates would still have to be paid? Yes, they would, unless there was a, a policy change. Right. So short of the councillors and the mayor, you understand what I'm getting at, there's nothing that can be done? Um, yep, so we, we just need to wait and see what happens with that political discussion.